Shirley Caswinkle is a spry 75, but her heart has sent her racing to the hospital one too many times. I just could not breathe. You know, if I sat or stand or lay down, I, I was gasping for air. Her problem was finally diagnosed at the University of Florida College of Medicine. They told me I would have to have a stress cardiogram done, which I had done many times. So when the doctor did it, and I just jokingly said, nothing wrong. He says, no, he says, you're not getting enough oxygen. I'm going to take a listen to your heart. Shirley's a case in point. Women don't always have the classic heart attack symptoms, but they still have a lot of pain. One of the difficulties with women is that they tend to have chest pain in the presence of coronary arteries that don't have blockages. And it's difficult for us to understand exactly why that is. So Dr. Hanberg's research is focusing past the large coronary arteries to the microcirculation of the heart. We feel like that this disorder of the small circulation and the disorder of the lining of the blood vessel walls is probably the earliest marker of atherosclerosis. One way to examine the smallest vessels is by using retinal photographs. Dr. Hanberg says arteries appear to narrow with hypertension, while veins get bigger with inflammation. If you have narrow arteries and big veins, is that worse than having just narrow arteries and the veins are the expected size? And so all of those relationships are what we're trying to tease out. Ultimately, she'd like to see if the retinal photographs could replace high-cost cardiac stress tests in select cases, and surely would too.